Okay, today's video is going to be how to sublimate onto wood and how to set up the file. I'll show a quick video of the sublimations, how they come out. They're quite tough ones, you know, there's a lot of cuts, so it should be a good one to show. Um, <clears throat> so this is how I set the file up. First of all, I cut out the two subjects and then holding control, I click and that draws the line back around the selection and then I stroke around that selection as you can see there I'll, I'll turn the two off so now I've got an outline and I've got the two subjects and then the next thing you want to do is save one PNG with your two subjects and your three reference points and then save your photo still with the reference points but without the subjects so I'm going to save that. Once you've imported the file into Lightburn, you want to left click on it and right click on it and go to Trace Image. So if you're happy with the trace, click OK. And then I'm going to move this over here. And if you zoom right in, you can see it's actually selects inside and outside of them lines. So you just got to quickly go through and delete the outside line of them. But at the moment, this is all grouped. So just ungroup it click off of it and then just click on the outside line and then press backspace or delete so once you've removed all your lines then with these crosses you want to zoom right in and draw a cross in the center of this cross once you've drawn one line if you right click it disconnect and then you can just I'm going to just select both of these put them on a different layer and then just make sure that's right in the center of your other one and then just press Ctrl and D to duplicate it and move it to your next cross and just zoom in, make sure it's right in the center. And now you can delete these outside ones because them other ones be a lot more accurate. So that file's finished now. So this is ready to use print and cut on now and this should be nice and accurate. That's what I'll be using. Jet opaque to heat transfer and then these laminating pouches. See there? Three mil thick, twelve by eighteen. So I've got this set to three sixty-five. That's just warming up, and then I just marked out a piece of scrap I found there, eight inches by eight inches, because that's the size of my design. So I'm going to quickly cut that out. So that's the design. There's my piece of wood. It's going to sit that right on top of the design. Yeah, same with the laminate, you just want enough to cover. It's going to be cut off in the laser. We peel the back of this. This is going to go the shiny side up. So, we already have this set for 365 and then 70 seconds. This is all lined up. And now you want some other kind of cover. Well, we should be at the 365. Yeah. So, press. Okay, that's still pretty up. You can see it's laminated them on there. It got a little bit hot at the bottom, but it didn't get into the photo. Yeah, you want to make sure your red dot's right on the centre of that. Come back to your computer. On the computer, select that cross. You can see that's that one that I'm over. Okay, so you just go to Laser Tools, Print and Cut, Set First Target Position. You see now it's put that circle around it. Now I'm going to go up to this one over here. Just make sure you're as close as you can get to the center of that square because the, uh, that cross because that makes a big difference. So okay, that's my second point. So I'm going to select that one up the top here. Laser tools, print and cut, set second target position. Okay, so now that one's gone blue, that one's gone red. And now you can click laser tools, print and cut align output targets and now you can see down the bottom there it says ready print and cut what you need to do now is i use cut selected graphics and then you want to select everything that you want cut out so okay so now everything's selected i'm going to click send that's ready to go i already focused it yeah and i just finished printing you can see that didn't leave one piece of uh, 
want beyond Thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.